today is a bit of a milestone for me. It's one year ago today that I moved on to the boat. Um, a broken man, totally new to boating, quite out of my depth to be honest. Um, but wow, what a journey it's been. Um, I mean, if you'd said to me a year ago uh, that I would be where I am today, I probably wouldn't have believed you. And, and I'm not just talking about the lockdown thing. I don't think any of us would have believed that, to be honest. Um, but yeah, just, just the journey I've been on. And for some of it, I have you to thank, my viewers and subscribers. You've encouraged me and brightened my day with your fantastic comments. Um, so yeah, thanks very much for that. Um, and you know, I've made a lot of good friends uh, along the way, not just personally, um, but also from YouTube, which has been absolutely fantastic as well. Um, this is a great lifestyle and I still have a lot to learn, I know that, but life is good again um, and I'm lucky to be living the life that I am. So uh, yeah, I think it suits me. Um, so yeah, what could be better? I'm just so chuffed I've done this. I heard the bass chug 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 of the fuel boat some way off. I always try to fill up at the beginning of the month, so I'd ordered some diesel and some coal. Richard pulls alongside in Mount Batten. The Chamberlain Carrying Company don't only supply red diesel and different types of coal, but also logs, kindling, gas, Elson toilet products, grease, fuel conditioner and engine oils. No, he didn't want any help carrying the coal. There are, at the moment, 34 fuel boats operating on the system in England and Wales. Well, about once every two or three weeks. <laughs> now he unties so that the boats can move forward and he can deliver the diesel. <laughs> Mount Batten is an Admiral class narrowboat built for British waterways in Northwich around about 1960. She often tows a butty called Jellico, which sells canalware, handmade by Richard's wife Ruth. I'll leave details for the Chamberlain's boats in the description box below. I've got a picture in my head of many, many years ago. It is an old pump. Yeah, yeah. It's a mechanic. All the gearing's mechanical rather than electrical yeah. because obviously you've got to run it off a boat. Do you want run it just in your cans or in your tank? Both. I'll back up afterwards. That was a mere 86 litres, which I think is the lowest ever amount I have used in a month.
Now it's time to get the paperwork done and make my payment. And Richard reverses back to refuel Cathy's boat. Delivery made, Mount Batten heads off to Orthley Junction, on to Great Hayward, and down to the River Trent, and finally the Arrowash Canal, before heading back. Now, when I look back over the past year, I think probably the greatest challenge would have been uh, doing the Huddersfield Narrow Canal. I must have been mad to try and do that on my own with only two weeks experience on a boat. Absolutely balmy. Mind you, it was either that or doing the Rochdale and going through Manchester, which I suspect probably would have been even madder. This is the face of a man who's done 26 locks in a day. This is the face of a man who needs a shower and a pint. And I may even push the boat out and have two. Push the boat out? Halfway through the Huddersfield Narrow Canal is the Stanage Tunnel um, and yeah I mean again a huge huge challenge for someone with so little experience quite frankly I think I nearly gave the uh, the chaperone a coronary um, uh, I, I guess the tunnel was an awful lot wider after I'd gone through it that's for sure the, the boat took a bit of a battering um, I'm afraid to say but I did make a joke about um, uh, my awful steering my steersmanship after I came out and uh, yeah the chaperone just kind of turned his back and grunted and <laughs> walks away it was probably that bad for him anyway yeah um, I, in, in all fairness I, uh, knowing what I know now I would actually quite like to go back and do the Huddersfield and the Stanage Tunnel again um, uh, I think I'd know what I was doing this time round but um, yeah we, we remain to see what a remarkable experience that was going through that tunnel that was just wow it was mind-boggling um, yeah a really really difficult much more difficult than I anticipated and you know many thanks to the CRT chaperone who uh, who had to come through the tunnel with me um, for, for his for his support and and um, and patience really with with my with my bad helmsmanship uh, <laughs> yeah it was uh, it was it was incredible experience I would like to go back to the um, Diggle Blues Festival as well, which obviously has been cancelled this year. Um, but yeah, I'll give that a shout out next year because um, uh, it was yeah, it's really worth going to if you like the blues. So yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> the Calden Canal has to be one of my favourites in the last year. It was like stepping back in time, um, but it's really, really difficult to try and name a like a, a favourite canal. Um, the Peak Forest was an absolute corker. The Macclesfield, again, what an unexpected delight that was. Um, and also the Shroppy, the Shroppy between Brood and Audlem is right up there. Um, really atmospheric, beautiful, beautiful place. <laughs> This part of the Macclesfield Canal between the bottom lock, Lock 12 of the Bosley Flight and Congleton is absolutely beautiful. It is so green, it is so lush and it is so unbelievably quiet. Um, I haven't even seen anybody using the towpath. It is just such a delight. Who lives on a boat like this?
Oh, I do like Audley. It's a lovely, lovely little village. Uh, Favourite mooring? Um, very possibly Tixel wide. Um, I mean, I've been there three times now, and the last time I was approaching there, it just kind of felt like I was coming home. It's such a beautiful place. A uh, lovely, lovely place. So yeah, those are some of the highlights uh, from the last year. Um, hope there'll be many more to come. Meanwhile, back on lockdown. Well, these guys prevented the heron from getting a duckling dinner. Still stalking and hiding in the bank, the Canada goose is alerting others of its presence. Oh look, here comes the Queen's Christmas dinner. And Kiki, my neighbour's cat, jumps on board. And head butts the camera. And it's a lovely evening for barbecue spare ribs and homemade chilli burgers. This tree is known locally as the old lady tree. And look, she's even got eyelashes. Thanks for watching and once again thanks for your support over the last year. As usual please like, the more likes I get the more YouTube push my vlogs. Please subscribe and share as well. See you soon.